could you introduce yourself and your company, please? Okay, so I'm Sue Barr, I'm an external I'm affairs manager for Open Hydro, who are a tidal technology company. And could you tell us a little bit more about the way the tidal technology works? So our turbine is a bi-directional permanent magnet ring generator turbine. It's designed on first principles from the marine environment. So it's very simple, very robust. It only has one moving part and we don't use any oils or lubricants. The design itself is very much based on um, the, both directions of the tide, so that bi-directionality of the tide. And we'd have a specialised deployment vessel, a modular barge, and we lower the whole system onto the seabed in one tidal cycle. So it's very simple and very easy to install. What would you say sets it apart from some of the other tidal technologies currently available? I think to be competitive within a tidal market, you've got to be able to drive down your installation costs. Our turbine is very different in terms of the way that it looks. So it is designed very much for the marine environment that it's working within. And we're very much focused on getting the cost of energy down and looking at the installation problems that you get with tidal environments, which are very vigorous and very dynamic. So for us, it's very much about being able to operate in those tidal environments and get the machine in the water. And what are your current markets and who are your prospective clients? So we're very much focused on a UK market. We're an Irish company and we're very much looking at developing the technology in this environment. We've been operational at the European Marine Energy Centre for seven years now. Um, we also have projects in the United States of America and in France. Uh, we're part owned, we're a DCNS company, so we're part owned by a large French naval firm. And there's a strong market on the north coast of France as well. So we're very much focused in the northern European markets and North America. And where do you see the technology and the company going in the next five years or so? So we've got a very strong business plan. We believe that tidal technology can provide something very significant to the energy mix. And what we're looking at really is developing small arrays and getting to that pre-commercial stage where we actually have a turbine that we can produce at volume and drive down that cost of energy. So we see becoming a global leader in providing tidal technology to the market within the next five years. And could you tell us a little bit more about the, the time frame for the demonstration projects and then moving on to the, the sort of more commercial scale projects? So what's the most important thing in tidal energy at the moment really is looking at the array architecture. So putting in more than one turbine. There have been several single device deployments that have proven technology to the stage of operationally being able to produce electricity. What we need to do now is look at combining turbines together, getting the array architecture together and getting the subsea electrical infrastructure that allows us to generate electricity offshore and bring that onto the grid. So the next stage for the technology will really be small arrays and then building out to those larger commercial scale arrays, so multiple devices in situ generating electricity. So on, on that subject, what does Open Hydro need now? Is it, does it need technical progress? Does it need projects or does it need investments? I would say it's a combination of all those things. Of course, what is absolutely important in all of the in all tidal energy projects is, is, is capital investment and driving that technology forward. So a strong commitment from government to get technology in the water, a strong market pull, so we need good policy in terms of the electricity market reform and a marketplace for tidal energy to operate within. At the moment, we're focusing on getting multiple turbines in the water and generating electricity, which requires capital, it requires government support, and it requires a revenue stream from which we can make money from generating electricity. Thank you very much.